Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another game tutorial by Rexbury. And uh, first, before we do anything, let's just get this out of the way here. Alright, so I'm back with another tutorial, as I just said. And uh, today we're going to be going a little over uh, cutscenes So in Game Maker. So the way I do cutscenes is I just usually make a timeline and uh, go from there. So timelines are really easy, even though they look like really complicated. So I mean, for instance, let's just start the uh, tutorial here so I can uh, show you. So to uh, first of all, when you are making your cutscene and using timelines, if you are using timelines, I mean, if you follow this video. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you're using cutscenes or uh, timelines, sorry, um, you'll want to go to File and click advanced mode and make sure it's checked right here because if you don't have advanced mode on uh... then you're not gonna get all this uh... other kind of stuff here and we kinda need that for our uh... timelines and uh... well for our um... um <laughs> oh yeah well timelines uh, i was thinking cutscenes and yeah anyway so i'll just turn them off really quick to show you what it looks like without advanced mode on all right, so it says we can be closed with a uh, okay, uh no, all right, so as you can see, all my extra stuff just kind of went away here, and it says game maker, I don't know if you can see this uh new game game maker uh, the simple mode, okay, so now it says we are in simple mode, not advanced mode, and notice the limited uh limited kind of uh buttons or whatever you want to call that um kind of buttons menu, and um over here the limited um folders for each uh each item on the uh, on the button menu up here so to go to back to advanced mode if you weren't already uh you just go to file and where it says advanced mode you just click anywhere where it says advanced mode all right and now all of our buttons and our folders for those buttons comes back all right and just if you want to check to make sure you get you're in uh you're in advanced mode well i mean of course you can always check the uh, buttons and stuff up here but you can just go to file and advan where it says advanced mode, that little black check will be there. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to get that out of the way before you start going. Because, I mean, if you were watching the tutorial when you're in simple mode and you're like, hey, I don't have that timeline stuff, you know, where'd you get that? So, yeah. Anyway, now you know how I got that. So, let's actually start the tutorial now. <coughs> uh, excuse me, my throat's a little dry. You know, maybe I should have uh, should have drank some water before I did this. But, uh, but whatever. Uh, whatever, I digress with this uh, interesting tutorial, hopefully. Anyway, so we're going to go up here, and where it says create a timeline, you're just going to click that. Or you could just go right-click on timelines over here in the folder and, you know, create new. But I like to do it the other way, because that's just how I do it. All right, so anyway, um, when you click that, or right-click and click that, um, you'll get this menu that says timeline properties, timeline zero. Uh, excuse me, timeline zero. All right, so there's no need to really rename this right now. Well, actually, you know, let's just rename it right now. Um, I'm just going to name it something simple. Uh, something basic like, um, let's say moving, because that's what I'm going to, uh, well, that's what I plan to be doing here. Um, all right, so moving. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is click add. So basically what this is like is it's like the um, when you're creating an object, um, you'll have your actions over here, and usually you'll have events over here with an object, but for timelines, it's mo uh, excuse me moments. So we're just going to go ahead and add a moment. I don't know why I clicked off of that. I could have just showed you that right here. But anyway, all right, so it says adding moment. Indicate the moment. So th we're just going to start off with zero here. Click OK or press enter on your keyboard. And it says step zero. OK, and notice this is like the um, step event in the objects uh, event. So basically every step it does, it, it does yeah, I mean, whatever you drag over in the actions. So for this, I'm just going to make a uh, simple moving uh, moving block. But to do that, I first need to make a block. So I'm actually just going to press OK right now. I probably should have made a block earlier, but anyway. All right, so I'm just going to create a sprite. And let's just name it SBR block. Just because I can and just so I can be a little more tidy, I guess. All right, create a new sprite and 32 by 32, whatever you have is OK. Um, all right, so I'm just going to paint a black block, hit enter on my keyboard, and I can't do that. So I'm just going to hit the green check mark and hit it again. And now I'm going to hit enter. Okay, that never 
Huh. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Okay, so I'm just going to keep pressing OK. And I have my block sprite. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so anyway, I have my uh, block sprite. And now I'm just going to go create an object for that block. So you just go create object. It's the blue ball up here. And you just click on it. And I'm just going to name it OBJ underscore block. Okay. Whoa. All right. And for my sprite, I'm going to choose my block, which is the only one. And this is all I'm going to do for now. Um, I don't need to add any actions or anything to it. You can if you want. Like, you can add gravity or whatever, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, now I'm going to press enter. Okay, there we go. That works. All right, so then I'm going to go back to my moving timeline and double-click on it to open it up again. And as you can see, the zero, the uh, step zero that I added earlier is actually gone. And the reason for that is because I didn't drag any actions over it to kind of, like, activate it, if you will. Um, so it just kind of disappears. But it's okay because it wasn't, it, it didn't do anything. So, yeah. All right, well if you add an action to it, then, you know, it won't go away. And, you know, I'll show you that later. You'll see. So let's just add again and indicate the moment and just keep it zero. Press OK. And I'm just going to drag over a move fix and choose the right uh, right arrow, click it, and let's see. And keep it self. I mean, you could do it something else, like if you're just creating like a uh, like a timeline controller-like thing. But I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, anyway, probably not in this tutorial or anything. But uh, yeah, anyway, f so for now, just keep it self. And you can choose whatever arrow, with like direction you want. But for now, I'm just going to choose the right one. And the speed, let's go a speed of 5, and just hit enter or OK. All right, you could choose whatever speed you want to as well. And then, anyway, the next thing that you do is add another uh, moment. And let's see, let's go for 20. So this will be 20 steps. Um, so after 20 steps of uh, moving to the right, all right, hit OK it will do whatever I want it to do now. So let's say I want it to move diagonal. So I'm going to drag over a move fixed. Or actually, you know, let's say I want it to stop for a couple seconds. So I'll just drag over move fixed though still and choose the middle one um, out of all the arrows to have it kind of not moving. And keep the speed zero and keep the um, applies to as self. And just hit OK. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is, let's see, add. And I'm going to add, hmm, let's see, okay. I'm going to add a 30 to the indicate uh, the moment. All right, and hit OK, or enter on your keyboard. And I'm just going to stop saying that. I'm just going to say hit OK now, because that's getting kind of annoying. All right, so anyway, so what we have so far is we have a step zero. So in the very beginning of the timeline, our block will start moving to the right, even though we haven't indicated that it's our block yet, but we'll go in. Uh, excuse me, get into that in a second. All right. So in the beginning, when their timeline starts, our block will move. Uh, excuse me, move to the right at a speed of five, and then after 20 steps of moving to the right, it will stop and let's see, stop for 10 seconds and then do something else. So I'm just going to drag. Uh, excuse me, drag over another move fixed, and choose the di uh, right diagonal, upper right diagonal arrow, whatever you want to call that at again a speed of five and you can change that whatever you want to whatever you want to and let's see and then I'll add one more to let's say hmm, indicate the moment 50 all right so then after 20 steps I'm just gonna have it stop all right so drag over one more uh, move fixed hit the uh, or click the uh, middle of all the arrows choose speed zero and uh, hit OK all right, so now we have our uh, timeline here, and I'll just hit OK on the whole thing. And now we want to go to our block object, double-click on it to open it, or right-click open. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I apologize, my throat is just very dry right now. Okay, but uh, yeah, anyway, so you want to add an event, and let's just use create here, and go down to main 2, and where we have all the timing stuff. Just choose like the first one that says set timeline. So it's basically the hourglass that has no arrows or funky stuff on it. And click and drag it over to your actions. And for the timeline, just choose your moving timeline. So click where it says no timeline, choose your moving one. And you don't have to use uh, like all this stuff. It's just kind of, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Start, so start immediately or don't start. And then loop, don't loop. Um, Basically, looping means it will keep doing it the same thing over and over again. So I'm not going to do that. You can test that out and stuff. But for now, 
I wanted to keep this tutorial pretty short, so I'm just going to hit OK. And hit OK again. Create a room. And get the grid off. <laughs> you don't have to. I just, yeah. So anyway, put your block anywhere in the room. I'll just put him in like the center here. And uh, I'm going to need to uh, start the game just a second here. But for now, I'm going to, well, I'm just going to like switch to another window. Because when the game starts, uh, the game ac itself actually goes kind of smaller. So I'll be recording my desktop. And frankly, I don't really want to do that. So I will see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, I'm back. How's it going? Um, well, as you could just uh, as you just saw, the uh, the little square over there kind of was a little bit was a bit. Uh. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, how's it going? And as you just saw, hopefully you saw that this little black uh, excuse me block here. Well, little black block. I mean, same thing. Whatever. Anyway. This little block here um, just started wherever I put it, which I believe was like right here, and it went to the right, and then it stopped, and then it went up. So um, I really hope you guys saw that. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's basically how you make cutscenes in your game um, using those timelines, and it's a really good way to go if you're um, just beginning on cutscenes, and even if you're not beginning, I mean, it's still a really great way. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, there will be more to come. And as usual, I mean, you guys can always request some. And, uh, yeah, this has been Rexbury with timelines and cutscenes, same thing. Um, yeah, have a great day.